guys, I am going to be acting the general manager part um, of the 49ers, and I'm going to put myself in their shoes and their cap situation, and I am going to figure out a plan for the 49ers offensive line position and their uh, cornerback position. So let's get it started. This is all based off of if the 49ers don't trade or if if they don't trade for Deshaun Watson at all, at least before the draft. This is based off of the draft goes through, the 49ers don't trade for Deshaun Watson before the draft, and this is all based off of if the 49ers are have a regular draft pick. So take all the Deshaun Watson and right now put it out of your mind and we're going to be breaking down what we're going to do with if we don't get Deshaun Watson and spend a ton of picks. So the first thing I would do, obviously the news today is that Weston Richburg, the 49ers center a few years ago that tore his Achilles, um is actually retiring, and so we are going to save about six million, seven million dollars um, of money. So I would use that six or seven million dollars from the Weston Richburg retirement to go get Alex Mack. Alex Mack, his previous contract, he's the center from the Atlanta Falcons. His previous contract was nine million dollars, but since in this year there's a cap hit. He's probably going to get the most six or five million. So what I would do, I would use that money to go and get Alex Mack, the center from the Atlanta Falcons. And again, Kyle Shanahan and Alex Mack have old ties from the um, Falcons. Uh, Kyle Shanahan was an offensive, was the offensive coordinator in in the Falcons Super Bowl run. The I think. I think he was, yeah, yeah, it was the Super Bowl run that the Falcons made that year. He was their offensive coordinator. And so, um, and Alex Mack was also the center. So, Alex Mack has uh, familiarity with this system, with Kyle Shanahan. So, that would be one great fit, so fix. That, now, going deeper into the depth and center, we'd still, if we get, let's say we get Alex Mack on a $6 million deal, Okay. We um, still need depth at center, which we definitely did not have last year. So what I would do, I think I would bring back um, uh, Garland. And yeah, so I would I would bring back Garland and so that we can have some more depth at the center position. And um, so that fixes the center. We have Alex Mack at number one. Uh, the first string, the starter center, and then we have Garland at number two starting center, okay? And then, so moving on, uh, right guard, I think Brunskill, his real place, again, he played center last year, but his real place at center is, his real place on the offensive line is at right guard. That is what the 49ers initially drafted him for and initially have used him, have wanted him to be for. So I would put um, uh, Brunskill either at right tackle or right guard, depending. He, he played both in the 2019 season, but I would put him at right guard just because that's where he's, he's best played at. And then there is a lot of loaded guards from two to four, so I would actually draft a late round uh, right guard to give that some competition. And then we obviously have McKivitz, Colton McKivitz from the uh, from the draft last year that we drafted. So I would bring all of those players in and kind of make it a competition. But at the end of the day, I would do Justin Brunskill at right guard. And then moving on to right tackle, I would do Mike McGlinchey. You know, there's there's been a lot of talks that he the Colts are interested in Mike McGlinchey. But let's say he comes back. Now, I don't like Mike McGlinchey the greatest, but, you know, right now he is one of our only options. So, and this is a contract year, so there's a good possibility that he does do good. So, maybe put him at right tackle, but what I was thinking the other day is draft a third round right tackle. So, draft a right tackle in the third round. There, There's some great names out there. Uh, 
There's a guy from Texas that you could get, North Dakota. There's a lot of good guys at right tackle this year. Um, all the way from one to all the way from the first round to the fourth round. Jalen Mayfield, I don't think he'll drop to the third round, but he's another guy from Michigan that I'll probably be scouting later on, more closer to the draft. Um, so give Mike McGlinchey a competition at right guard. And that, I mean, again, we all 49ers fans know how, like, he, Mike McGlinchey was not great last year at all. So what I would do this year is I would give Mike McGlinchey a competition at right guard to make him try and really make him pick up his game. So that's one reason. Obviously, before, I just said Daniel Brunskill is, uh, also has played right tackle before. And so I would also, if my um, Daniel Brunskill... You know, I would also uh, I would also put Mike Daniel Brunskill as maybe that third option guy starting at right tackle, and so I would also put him in the mix. Mix. So we've got anybody who from the third round that we draft. I think there's a lot of great third round guys. So anybody who we draft in the third round, we've got Mike McGlinchey and we've got Daniel Brunskill um, competing at right guard. So those are three names that you can repeat compete at right guard. We've got some depth at center with Alex Mack and um, Ben Garland. And then we've got the right guard position with a rookie from last year, Brunskill from this year, and then maybe a late round draft pick that we could maybe get. Or we could sign a guy in free agency and maybe add some more competition to that too. So the next one, I'm going to switch over to left tackle. Um, I would re-sign Trent. Trent Williams, I think what we can do is we can get rid of uh, Jimmy Garoppolo, either trade him or cut him or restructure his contract, and that way we can re-sign Trent Williams. I think the 49ers, like in my last show that I did, I think the 49ers have set a good offer for him on the table, and I think the 49ers are honestly, at the end of the day, willing to give Trent Williams a big contract, $24, 25000000 million. So, I think I would re-sign Trent Williams just because he is a building block to your offensive line and you can really use him to build off of your offensive line. Left guard, I would still keep Lakin Tomlinson. He's on a deal, uh, but maybe bring in a cheap free agent to fill in for him. At the end of the day, this is one position that kind of the 49ers will probably not address in the, address in the drafts, draft. Because it's it's we they've we, they have so many more needs. So this is one position that the 49ers will definitely maybe not address in the draft. And so left tackle, I think you have Lakin Tomlinson there. So uh, left tackle, sorry, left guard, you have Lakin Tomlinson there. Left tackle, you have Trent Williams. Left guard, you have Lakin Tomlinson. Center, you have Alex Mack. Right guard, you have Brunskill. And then right tackle, you have Mike McGlinchey, and you have uh, a competition between Mike McGlinchey, a guy that we get in the third round, which there's a lot of good names, and then you have Daniel Brunskill possibly competing for the right tackle position also, because he's actually very good at right tackle position. So uh, that's, that's, I mean, again, this these moves will add you depth on the off on the, uh, defensive on the offensive line and so th this will this will really add a lot of things that the 49ers have definitely had not strengths again Mike McGlinchey I would like to get rid of him but will we I don't know like if the Colts are interested in Mike McGlinchey I would definitely ship him for whatever you can get and then draft his replacement because I'm sure there's somebody in the third or fourth round that is better than Mike McGlinchey so uh, yeah, that's all for today. Again, part two will be breaking, will be my plan for the corners in the offseason. I'll see you there.